Hi YouTube, Jason here and this is uh, weekly highlights for this week and some of you may be looking at my three candles and my one tart and be thinking wow it's going to be a short one this week um, but no I do have a bunch of wrappers down here so of tarts that I melted this week so um, I got a lot to go over <laughs> so it'll probably be the longest video ever but I'm going to try, I'm not even going to say I'm going to try to go fast. I'm just going to go. So, um, I, I did want to mention, I, I know, I think I mentioned in my, one of my videos yesterday that I was expecting an order today from Sniff My Tarts, and, um, it did not come, and I'm very sad about it. It, I don't know what happened, but it did not show up as it was supposed to today, and, um, I checked the status of it on the, um, uh, postal service website and it said undeliverable and it was sent back to the processing facility and they're sending it back to the sender so great so I called the post office I'm like can I stop this can I go pick it up I mean I don't know what happened but it just said that it, it was undeliverable to that address to my address um, and he's like, no, it's already on its way back to the processing um, place or to the sorting place, and they are sending it back. So I'm like, can I just pick it up? And he said I couldn't. So anyways, heading back there. So hopefully it won't be long before they send it back to me. Um, and I did email the lady at Sniff My Tarts and said, I don't know what the deal is, but it's coming back to you. Please check the address. She had my address right on the shipping note or on my order, so I don't know. I don't know what's going on, but I don't have it. So I was a little irritated. I was excited to get it today and to do a video over it, but um, we're going to have to wait on that. So anyways, uh, I'll just dig right in. Um, uh, this was one of the new ones that I got in my Kim's order from yesterday, almond cookies, and I've got it in the warmer right now. It's really nice. Um, I said yesterday that it's a, um, it's kind of close to Yankees version, and I still think it is similar, um, but it is it is different. There's a difference there, um, and I don't think it's quite as strong actually as Yankees version. So um, I'm enjoying it, but it's not knock me down strong or anything. But um, it's got a very nice cookie scent to it and um, you can smell the almond and it's um, it's similar but not exact but I would say that if you um, miss Yankees almond cookie scent then this is a very nice um, substitution it's not the same exactly but it is a nice substitution so I've got that going right now I like it um, I guess I'll just do the I just started with the tart so I guess I'll do the do the tarts first. Um, the other one I have going right now is What's Cooking from Can Do, and I am really disappointed in this. Now, this is an older tart. I got it, um, I want to say, in, in November of last year, so it's it's old. Um, but I've never really had a problem with her tarts, and I've melted I melted one last week from the same order, and it was fine. But this one has virtually no scent to it whatsoever and um, and it's warming in my bedroom and the bedroom is smaller and um, usually I get a really good throw from that warmer so I don't know I don't I smell a faint like spice scent kind of maybe but um, so it could be that it's just old but I don't know. I'm pretty disappointed in it, and I'm going to change it out, actually, um, as soon as I, th this video is done. I'm going to put in something else. Um, and then I melted some Yankee tarts this week. Uh, Wild Passion Fruit. This one was, um, this one was nice. Um, it's a little out of my comfort zone. Um, I don't do a lot of tropical type fruits, and this is definitely one of those. Um, but it has a real, a real tart quality to it, and um, it had a very good throw. Um, it was very strong, and um, 
I would say I enjoyed it. I would not say it's one of my favorites, um, but I do think that if you like tropical, f fruity type scents, that you would enjoy this. Um, it's it's not really the scent; it's more my taste. But I'm glad I tried it. Um, I don't think I would. I would. I know I wouldn't buy a candle in it. And then uh, mango peach salsa. Now this is one that I've always enjoyed. Um, I've always enjoyed mango. It is one of the tropical type fruits that I, I do like. Um, I've always enjoyed this scent. Um, however, the last couple of times I've melted this, I don't get a lot from it. Um, so, I don't know. I can smell it. Smell the wrapper still. But when it's warming, I just don't get a very strong throw. So, and it was in the same warmer that uh, the one that Watts cooking is in, and so I'm wondering if maybe it's the uh, the you know where I have the tart warmer placed in my bedroom. I did move it, um, so I'm wondering if it's just not throwing the scent as much as it used to, because I used to really like this, and um, and I didn't get much from it this time or the last time. Um, then I have hometown days. Hometown Days is a really nice scent. Um, I do think they've discontinued it, um, but it might not be too hard to find um, because it's not very old. Um, I think it was out last summer, last summer, early fall. And um, Hometown Days is a really nice, crisp Macintosh and pear scent. Now, a lot of people say they don't smell the pear, they just smell Macintosh. But I do. I smell the pear in it. Um, it's it's definitely got the Macintosh front and center, but you can I get the I get the pear in the background too. So it's really nice, very fresh and crisp. There's no spice or anything added to it. Then Willow Breeze, Willow Breeze, one of my all-time fresh fragrances. Um, it's really nice. I mean, it doesn't smell like any one thing in nature, but it does, um, it is reminiscent of just a breezy day outside. Um, it, it, I don't know. It's not like I pinpoint grass or a tree. I mean, it doesn't smell like, like a real thing outside, but it just reminds you of a nice warm breezy spring day so I really like it and then loves me loves me not um, I love to hate the name of this <laughs> it's kind of kind of um, the focus is a little wonky today so um, yeah I, I don't love the name but I really like the scent it is um, a really nice scent. I'm trying to fix the focus and BS at the same time. There it is. That's better. Okay. Sorry. I obviously can't do two things at once. So um, it is a little floral. I don't love florals. Um, I guess daisies would be the floral. Um, but there's a very strong green note to this as well. Um, and that's what I like about it. It smells, uh, there are grassy notes in it, and, um, and it smells a little reminiscent of Spa Fresh. Not exact, it's definitely not the same scent, um, but I'm thinking Spa Fresh meets um, a very mild floral. So. It's really nice, and it was extremely strong. I mean, wow. One of the strongest Yankee tarts that I've melted in a long time. Um, I know some people say they're getting weaker. I don't know about that, but I will definitely say that was one of the stronger ones that I've smelled in a long time. Um, front Porch. Um, this is the only one from Front Porch that I've melted this week, and it's not that I don't love the tarts. I do. I'm just, I think I'm kind of savoring them. I don't want to melt them all too fast because I really like this company and I do plan on ordering uh, from her again. 
Um, this one was Spicy Prim Pie. Now, this wins the award, hands down, of Strongest Tart of the Week. Um, the, I mean, it was just... Wow. It was almost... And I don't use this lightly. It was almost too strong. Now, for me to say something is almost too strong... Now, I said almost too strong. That's uh, huge. Because... I don't, I really can't, I don't ever think anything is too strong. I always say my motto is um, there's no such thing as too strong. This gave me a run for my money. I can smell it just through the wrapper. Um, it is an amazing, amazing scent. Now, and it was very familiar to me, and I realized that it was actually the same fragrance as. Um, Candles from the Keeping Room has one called Pilgrim's Pie, same scent, identical. I, I know that scent really well and hers is extremely strong too. Um, so I don't know, it's the same oil, I can tell. But um, Front Porch is calling it Spicy Prim Pie. Um, it's a very unique fragrance, it's a very complex scent. I don't think of it as a bakery, I think of it as more a very complex spice scent. Um, front Porch's uh, description says a very strong blend of pumpkin pie, nutmeg, deep spices, and undertones of hickory smoke. Um, so I don't know that I really get the pie part of it. And um, it's really a mixture of spices, a complex mi mixture of spices. And you do get the hickory smoke. I smell that hickory woody note to it. Um, so it's very, very strong, very complex. I would say don't expect like a pie bakery type scent, but it's very good. Um, maybe more appropriate for the fall and winter months though. If you don't like a strong spice scent in the spring. Um, but you know, I just don't care anymore. I love the foodie and spice scents, so I just decided you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna burn what I want. So, okay. So then I finished up some um, Kim's tarts from my last order. These are all from my first order from Kim's. Um, well, actually, that would have been my second order from Kim's, but uh, the old order from Kim's that I, I did. Um, I think I placed this order in January. So pumpkin crunch pie. Um, I love this scent. Very nice. Um, very strong and it's a very spicy um, bakery scent but you can get the bakery pie uh, part of it I really like it last night I tried banana pudding it was a sample from that last order and um, I wasn't looking forward to it uh, really because I I always I don't think that I love banana scents but when I try it with like um, like a nut bread or in this case a pudding I really enjoyed it um, now I wouldn't say it was super authentic it did not smell it kind of smelled a little like um, an artificial banana um, with a creamy vanilla note mixed in with it um, however that wasn't an unpleasant thing I actually enjoyed it I would have I would call it a one tea lighter um, it threw very very well for that first tea light and then really the second tea light it was just pretty faint but I did enjoy it then I finished up 7-Up Pound Cake and I do have a new bag so I'm really happy I went ahead and put this in last night as well since I um, had my new bag of 7-Up Pound Cake so didn't want to run out of that love it and then Amish Friendship Bread um, another one I got a new bag of and I finished this last week. Um, love this scent. Like I said, um, I've tried several Amish Friendship Reds in the last couple of months, and Kim's to me is my favorite so far. Um, it's just a sweet bread. I get the raisins, um, just some spices, and it's just really unique, but not too heavy bakery scent. And then I have two more tarts, and then we're done. Um, it was red velvet cake 
from Haley's Heavenly Scents. Now, this one was nice, um, and I don't know if it was because it's an older clamshell, but it had kind of a waxy um, note to it. And I've noticed this in clamshell uh, melts, you're more likely to get a waxy undertone. Just, it smells like wax. And this one had that. I smell it. It's like the, almost like the plastic gets in there somehow, like a plastic smell. And I've smelled it in other melts that come in these type of containers. So I don't know what the deal is, but um, when it melted, it still kind of had that, but um, the red velvet cake was strong enough to come through still. But if you really put your nose up to it, you could still smell that waxy, plasticky smell. So I didn't enjoy that, but I did enjoy the scent. I could smell the red velvet cake and it smelled really good. But I don't know, I don't love um, wax that comes in these. I just don't love it. And I, I think they're hard to store too. Um, then there was Clean Cotton from Sarah's Wax and Wicks. Um, this one was nice. It wasn't very strong, um, but it was a very, very nice clean cotton scent and it smelled very much like the clean cotton that we all know um, so uh, you know I wasn't wowed it's not a scent that wows you anyway so it was just fine um, and that's all the tarts this week um, I think I have almost finished up spring I think I, it might light for about another hour or so but it's almost done now this one was really strong. It's a very strong candle and it burned beautifully as you can see. Um, and I love strong scents but um, this has some floral in it so I don't love floral. What I liked about the scent was that it had a strong green note as well but burning and I actually it has apple blossom and I actually smell that in it. So there are notes that I really like in this but um, some of those floral notes can come out pretty strong when you burn it for a long period of time. And I found that um, it actually started giving me a headache. Um, if I burned it for a long time, I could get like a dull headache with it. Um, and I think that was due to the floral in it. But I really enjoyed the performance of the candle and the throw was awesome. So. Um, I'm almost done with it and I'm kind of excited to be done with it only because of the floral aspect of it. And then banana nut bread I've been um, burning this week. One of those I'm just kind of trying to burn down. It's getting down there but you know and then you feel like once you've had it for several months and they're getting low it's like they're just taking up space so I'm trying to burn some of those down and um, make room for other candles which I will inevitably be buying. Um, so Village Candle Banana br Nut Bread. It's really nice. Um, it smells very much like banana nut bread. Um, and it burned really well for me until now. It's like starting to tunnel on me. Way down here you would think by the end like this or towards the end that it would be fine if it burned all the way down like this. Um, but no, and I don't trim the wicks. The wicks are very short. And I've noticed in village candles in general, they're pretty short. You don't really have to trim them. And I find that they don't mushroom. So um, I don't know, this one's kind of tunneling on me, but I like it. It's, it's got a good throat too. And then shortbread cookie. It's a really nice scent, but it is very light. I remember it being stronger, and maybe it was at one point, um, but this candle, very, very light. So I enjoy it, but I sure wish it was stronger. Um, but like I said, it's got that nice cookie um, note mixed with a little bit of, van uh, I'm sorry, not vanilla, lavender. There may be some vanilla in it, but um, it's got some lavender in it. 
So I actually really love the scent. I just wish it were stronger, but it's burning beautifully. I love how it's burning and that wax pull is so nice. So that is my weekly highlights. As soon as I receive my Sniff My Tarts order, I will be doing a haul and a cold review on those. Um, so stay tuned guys and I will talk to you all soon. Have a good one. Bye.